Welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox. That's Ben Olson. Together, we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. Uh, today, we have a topic just called LSAT or GRE. Um, this was something that came from a random Reddit thread. I'm thinking of applying to multiple types of programs and don't want to pay for more than one test. And the LSAT is so much more expensive when you take the additional fees into consideration. Is it fine to just take the GRE instead? Do I still need to use LSAC to apply even if I take the GRE? Would I still have to pay for the credential assembly service? What do you think about this, Ben? Yeah, my reaction to this is if you're on the fence as to whether you should go to law school or pursue some other type of degree, you don't really have a business um, competing in this arena. Either decide that you wanna go to law school, take the LSAT, kick ass at it, and get on board with the game that you're about to play or go play a different game. I, this to me is like way too much. I need to keep all my options open. You're not the right candidate who, even if you did get into law school, would be ready for what's going to come next. Well, yeah, and I agree with all that. I also want to throw in one other really big reason why you should take the LSAT. Even if you are going to also apply to other types of graduate programs, mm. if you're going to apply to law school at all, you need to take the LSAT because that's where scholarships come from. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't give scholarships for GREs because they don't publish the GREs. Yeah, They give scholarships for LSATs because a high LSAT score is going to raise their public profile on their ABA 509 data and in US News and World Report. So. Our mission is not just to get you into law school. Our mission is to get you to go to law school for free. Yep. And if you want those scholarship dollars, then you need to show them an LSAT score that's worth it. This also bleeds into the discussion of those people who are like, oh, but I want to get a dual degree. I want to get a JD MBA. And again, I feel like it comes from this same place of indecision. I don't know what I want to do. I want to keep all my options open. And in this world, though, uh, you can't compete as a generalist. You have to be, you have to kick ass at something. Go kick ass at your MBA or go kick ass at your JD or something else entirely. But trying to do both for the vast majority of people is just gonna make them not as great at either one. And yeah, if there's a job out there that absolutely demands this dual degree, well then <laughs> I wanna know what that job is. I wanna know that you wanna do it. And I wanna know that people who have this job are telling you, yes, you need these two degrees or we're, we're not even considering you. Otherwise, stop trying to keep all the doors open because then you actually just end up closing all of them. Yeah, it's the JD is just very specific training for a very specific job, which is yep. magical incantations of the law, which are useful to one type of person only, which is people who actually practice law. Yep. Um, it's just, it's a waste of your time and a waste of your money and a waste of your energy if you don't want to practice law. So if you're, you know, if you're thinking about some other career, I would definitely advise some other degree. I just can't imagine why you would be applying to law school for any other reason besides wanting to practice law. Um, do you still need to use LSAC to apply even if you take the GRE? Pretty sure, yeah. I don't think you yeah. can apply to law schools at all yep. without using Law School Admission Council, which means that, yes, you will still have to pay for the credential assembly service. So you're not which saving is a whole lot of money there. <laughs> a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, well, I mean, you're going to have a, a credential assembly service account. That's a couple hundred bucks. You're going to pay extra fees, $45 for every school you apply to um, via the credential assembly service. It's 200 bucks to take the LSAT. If that's really what we're talking about here, then you know it's two hundred dollars for the chance at two hundred thousand dollars worth of free tuition, which makes it an obvious no-brainer. You know, even if you are applying to multiple different types of programs, I think you still want the LSAT because you, you like you just don't want to go to law school and pay for it. That's a big mistake. You can go for free, so you should. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yep. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.